Welcome to this new edition of the Meet the Expert vlog. My name is Frans Einheimer and I'm product manager for the airport storage solutions at Van der Landen. Good morning. Good morning. So today we will explain more about storage solutions for our baggage handling systems. And we will dive deeper into our adapter bag store. We're here in Germany at our bag store facility in Siegen. Here we design, build and test our state-of-the-art bag store systems. Nowadays there's much more to storage than only storing bags that were checked in early. So, let's first have a look what storage is really about and what kind of solutions we have. There are many ways you can store bags. Essentially, you can put bags on shelves in a manual bag store. When you start automating this system, you can also start optimizing. For instance, in a lane bay store, uh, we can put bags into queues of bags. And you have a queue for bags which leave in four hours, a queue of bags uh, which leave in two hours. And when the time is due, you simply flush the whole lane and then all those bags arrive at the precisely the right time. In a crane-based bag store, we store bags in high racking. There's a crane driving back and forth in front of the racking to fetch individual bags. The advantage of a crane-based store is that it can put more bags in the same space and that you can fetch individual bags. Our newest development is our adapter bag store. Shuttles drive around on the level to collect individual bags. And with adapter, we can achieve an even higher density of uh, bag storage with an even higher output. So in airports where optimization is important and where real estate is scarce and every square meter counts, Adapto really is the best fit. Of course, there's much more to tell about this technology. Let's find my colleague Thomas, who's an expert on this. Thomas Jacob is our chief product owner for storage solutions here in Siegen. He is an expert on our newest development, the Adapto bag store. Hi Thomas. Hi Frans. Hey. Hey, I'm making a vlog today about storage solutions. I was hoping that you could tell us a bit about our latest introduction, the Adapto Bag Store. Sure. As most of you know, we are developing and producing our Adapto Bag Store here in our facilities in Siegen, Germany. What you can see behind me are the component tests of the Adapto SBT shuttle. But to get a bit more broader overview, let's have a look in our test facility over there at the demo system. Yeah. And there it is. So let's get a bit more technical. Adapto Backstore is a so-called level captive shuttle system. Level captive means that the shuttle is bound to one level and can change between the aisles individually. The shuttle is powered via a lithium titanate battery and charged in front of the system during pickup and deposit. Via the lift, the vertical transportation of the top takes place and the lift is the connection between the ICS top track system and the level where the shuttles are driving. Yeah, so really the next generation in storage solutions, I think, for airports. Hey, you mentioned shuttles. Can you explain a bit uh, what the benefits of a shuttle-based backstore are? Yes, sure. But for this, let's have a look at front of the system. I can better explain you there. Let's go there. Adapter Backstore is delivering 20% more storage locations compared to a crane-based backstore. With Adapter Backstore, you can place the tub back-to-back -back and you can surf with one shuttle from both sides. And this is making it super redundant, because if one shuttle fails, the other one can hand over the task of it. The same goes for the lift. If one lift in the front goes down, the other lift will hand over this work. So this is making the system a really redundant solution for our customers. And beside this, uh, Adapto Backstore needs about 50% less energy than the Crane Backstore, and this is driven by the, by the technology and the solution and beside this, it has also features like energy reusage within the shuttle and within the lift. Yeah, so really a fully redundant uh, system with then a less space and a grain-based uh, solution and also using considerable less energy. So a sustainable choice, uh, I would say. Uh. Exactly. And if this were not enough, it delivers 30% more throughput in comparison to grain-based backstore. Yeah, thanks so much for a very uh, clear story. Thank you. Thank you. 
So we heard Thomas mention the high throughput rate, but why is high throughput so important? Backstores are not only used to store early bags, but also for batching. With batching, we often store bags only for 10 minutes, just to be able to group bags for a single flight together. That way, instead of sending one bag at a time to an operator, we can send a group of bags to the operator. This makes the operator's work much more efficient. So let's drive back to the Netherlands, to Vechel, to meet my colleague Gijs Bartelet, who knows all about these processes and who can explain it in much more detail. So Gijs is responsible for developing baggage handling concepts around flexible and scalable infrastructure, such as bag storage, but also autonomous vehicles or robots. Hey Gijs, good morning, how are hey. you? Frans, good morning. Um, Welcome. Hey, we're making a vlog today about uh, storage solutions. So, and I just arrived from uh, Siegen. Uh, where they explain that our storage solutions are a crucial element in our batching concept and in end-to-end uh, -end baggage logistics. Would you have a few minutes to uh, explain us a bit about those uh, concepts? Sure, sure, happy to. Yeah, so the end-to-end uh, -end approach uh, basically has been developed to optimize the complete uh, baggage journey. Airports, they want to grow in an efficient and in a sustainable way, but they're also uh, facing some challenges, such as uh, labor shortages, um, fluctuating passenger demand and also a limited footprint uh, space. How does a, a storage solution itself uh, contribute to this, uh, to this approach? Uh, let me show you with a small animation I have. Let's sit over here. Yeah, so an uh, important element of the solution is the backstore that basically enables pull process. Uh, in a conventional process, um, bags uh, need to be handled by uh, the handlers uh, in the same way as they arrive from check-in and, uh, and transfer. But we believe uh, yeah, with the pull process the focus should be on early bags and in-time bags and, and we do that by first storing them in a bag store. So all that time there's no handler needed at the makeup and we only pull the bags out of the system when we need them. So when we need to load a container. Yeah, and this pre-building or peak shaving enables a much more optimized uh, use of the handling staff and the makeup areas and the adapter backstore is something that enables this process uh, which is also an example of a scalable and flexible uh, infrastructure. Yeah, so it's not only about uh, early backstore, uh, it's really about making the whole uh, process more efficient. Hey, and, and we saw a uh, adapter backstore which is a shuttle based uh, system. Uh, can you also explain a bit why a shuttle based uh, system specifically uh, works so well in this, uh, in this concept? Yeah, the, the, the main benefit of the, of the shuttle backstore is that it optimally supports uh, the loading process. So the um, loading of bags into carts and containers is done increasingly at higher rates. By using uh, semi-automated loading devices or, or robots, that the adapter backstore can cope with these high capacities, uh, feeding uh, a batch of bags at, at the high rates, but also feed them in the right sequence. Uh, so first, um, the heavy bags, uh, and maybe the, the smallest bags uh, near the end of the loading process. And doing all of that while fitting within the terminal building, within the space, and because of the flexible configuration of the lifts and the, and the ails. So it's, it's actually not only about storage, uh, it's about the whole end-to-end -end, uh, baggage process and optimizing the whole, uh, the whole uh, mm. story to make baggage handling uh, yeah, an efficient, uh, modern process. So um, thanks for a great uh, explanation uh, today. Thank you. So those were some very interesting insights shared by Thomas and Gijs. Adding automation and switching to a pool concept really improved the resource utilization in an airport. Together with our integrated software, this allows airlines and the airports to radically improve their bag performance, to save on operational cost, and at the same time provide seamless travel experience to passengers. I hope you enjoyed watching. I can imagine there are some questions left. Please feel free to reach out and we'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Thanks for watching. See you next time and don't forget to like and share.